What's good, y'all? It's Lance from Sports Templates back with our newest outdoor stadium template, which includes both American football and soccer. But before we get into it, I want to remind y'all to drop a like and subscribe to the channels for more tutorials like this whenever we release a new template. For this specific tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this American football style design featuring the Nomads against the Cardinals, but also included when you buy this template is the cutout view of that specific angle where it's just the field and not the entire stadium with the floating 3D text. You get a secondary stadium view from the side angle with the exact same features as the first and another cutout view from that angle with the floating text. Closing these out, I'll show you what comes in the original view of the template. When you first open it up, your template will look just like this. And going top to bottom, let's show off the features in this template. Starting off at the top, we have our environment effects, which are added effects to enhance the final look of the template, but not meant to be edited. So I'm just going to lock these for now. Going down, you have our fans and the seat colors. And if you zoom in on the template, you'll see that we have modeled over 60,000 fans in these seats. And you can change both the colors of the shirts that the fans are wearing and the colors of the seats themselves, but we'll come back to that. Then we zoom out. The next thing is the goal post. So let's zoom into them. If you click into the goal post, you're actually able to change the color of the goal post from the traditional yellow to whatever color you want. Or if you're making a soccer design, you can turn these off entirely and add the soccer goals, which again, you can change the colors of the net or to frame themselves if you want to. All right, I'll turn these off, bring the goal post back, and I'll move past the field. We'll come back to that for now, but for the advertising boards, I see strips at each level of the stadium down to the floor, which are customizable, and then the scoreboard, which if you click onto the smart object, you'll see it's completely customizable as well. Then you have the stadium, which is not customizable itself, but if you want to, you can add an adjustment layer of levels, clip it, and drag on these arrows on the outside to either darken the stadium or brighten it. Or you can add a hue saturation layer, clip it to the stadium and hit colorize. And with that, you can change the color of the stadium itself. For now, I'll leave it at default. Lastly, we have our environment which is the part up at the top, which I will leave default for this tutorial. But just to show you real quick, you have five editable parts, which includes the pavement color of the road, color of the sidewalk, color of the trees here, color of the curb and the buildings, and your overall color for the design, or for the environment rather. As I said, I'll come back and leave it as it was. That leaves us with the main part of the template, the field itself. So if you click onto the field design smart object, this is what you'll be greeted with. And by default, the color of the grass is selected here. You have this standard football turf, a muted look in your soccer grass. But if you customize your template and leave it without the background, then you can customize the grass color here outside of the smart object. But for the purposes of the design, I'm going to choose the football turf color and leave it at that. So before we get to the American football, to show off the soccer field, it comes with five alternating patterns, including the circle one. You also got a horizontal and vertical stripes, diagonal stripes, and this cross stitch pattern. Just to show you how it looks. We save it there, then bring the soccer goals back. That's how they would look on this template. We'll go back to the American football. In the American football group, you'll have your alternating pattern at each of the five yard marks, your shape layers for your two end zones or one for both end zones if you're making a design for just one team. You will have a outline fill for this part of that field. I'll leave that on. Then the outline itself. 
as well as the edge of the field here. Then you have your 10 yard lines, your yard markings, and your numbers, all of which are shape layers, which means that you can change the color of them if you want to. You also have two text layers for each end zone. I'm going to change them. For the two teams we're going to be using, which are the Nomads and the Cardinals. For the Cardinals, I'm going to change the color to black. And then the Nomads, I'm going to use this dark blue, which is in the library linked in the description, as well as the logos that we'll be using as well. And I'm going to select a font, font serif. Uh, let's go with black or regular. And it's going to control or command T and then hold shift and alter option. Drag it down. And I can leave the nomads as it is. Also going to select both of these. Make sure you're in your align settings. You have aligned the canvas selected. Make sure they're both centered that way. Now I'm going to bring the logos in. I'm going to select the Nomads logo, drag it in. And I kind of want to line up the center of the logo with the 25 yard line. This and make sure it's aligned horizontally. Do the same thing with the Cardinals logo. I'll line it up to the 25 yard line. Make sure it's aligned horizontally. In the center, I'm going to get rid of the your logo. I'm going to add another text layer and T on the keyboard. Then with the same Montserrat or whatever font you want to use, select it. I want to change this to versus. Going to center it, scale it up with Control T. I want this to be capitalized. I want to make this white. Um, in the text, and I'm gonna go do this. Bring the letters closer. Back it up again. So just to increase the visibility of it, what I'm going to do now is double click on it to get to the layer style settings. Go to stroke, and that's already set from the last time I was doing this, but you can either select either the darker green or the lighter green. I'm gonna do the darker green. You just have a stroke on the outside. Let's do size 20. And then that'll do it for your fields. And then when you go back and save it, just zoom out, you have your field, and zoom back in, you see the details and the grass texture, or the turf texture really, for the logos versus the Cardinal logo in both the end zones. And now, to get the rest of the stadium to look like the field, we'll go back to the top, the fans and the seat colors. So we'll go to the fan colors. Let's just go to a section, the seats. So for our first one, we can have the yellow or the nomads, the red or the cardinals and a white, just kind of like a neutral color. But when you do it just like that, by selecting the colors in the library, kind of notice that it gets overly bright when you use bright colors. So I zoom back in, you have bright colors like this. One thing you might want to do is just to go in and then Kind of in the same area and just go straight down and select a darker version of the color. Same thing with the red. And same thing with the white, we'll just turn this into more of a gray. When you zoom back out, you still get the same colors, but it just looks a little more realistic that way. And then we'll keep the seats um, for each one kind of like a grayish white but you can change it um, by floor if you want to. So you can do it where it's hypothetically one floor per team. That, we'll keep it at gray. Next, we have advertising boards. Starting up on the upper stage, I will turn the background on and make the background black. We have this is just a regular shape layer. 
we can delete that and add our own text layer. Let's make sure it's centered. I get center aligned in the paragraph style and up here, make the color white. I'm gonna go and choose a little bit of a thinner font. And then we can write something like today. So we can go to our settings, our type options, make sure it's all capitalized. Today, nomads versus cardinals. And this would be the final match, whatever link this is. Any other little space there. So with this too, I'm going to change the colors to match the team colors. So you just drag along the nomads, hit the color at the top, and then you can drag to select the nomads yellow here. You can do the same thing. We select cardinals, color, and then drag to the red. And so when you save it like this, we're all the way at the top at the upper stage design. So that's how it will look. But I'm going to double this. So I'm going to drag this over off the side, hold Alt or Option, and then click and drag it to duplicate it. Select both these layers, and then just drag them in. Be centered like this. So when you save it, it's studio two, so it looks more like it's repeating. Then you go to the second one in the upper stage design. What you can do is do the same thing where you select both of these and hit copy and come over to the second one and you control or command then shift and B and that'll paste it in place. Again, where you can make the background black. We save it. And you'll see that when you do it like this, you kind of get this a little bit of a gap in between the end of the last one and the beginning of the next one. So what you can do is go back to the first one and just drag it out to bring it closer to the edge. And then do the same thing um, on the second one. Drag it out, bring it closer to the edge. Save both of these. Now you get more of a natural gap in between it. So then that leaves the third one, which you can do the same thing, or you should already have it uh, copied, but that's the wrong side. So you want to copy from either of these, paste it in place with controller, command, shift V, make our background black, we save it, and that'll come over here as well. And that's your upper stage done. So now you have your lower stages set as well. Your lower stages are more of the same, but one thing to speed this up is you can just go to the color itself of the entire board. I'm gonna show you. Now it's red. We want it to be black because we're gonna keep the same design. I'm gonna delete the your design, paste our other design on both the first, second, and third set of the advertising boards. Close these out and save them. And then do the same thing for the border on the field. But one thing you notice about the border on the field is that because it wraps around the side of the field, it looks a little different. So I'm actually start on the second one. And delete this. Make sure the color is black too. And go to the third one. Paste it. fourth one or no not the fourth one I'm not going to say this one I'm going to go to the fifth one paste it and so the reason I didn't select the first one or the fourth one is that it's these designs this one in the corner and this one on the edge so for the first one because we can see the right edge of it but not the left edge what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the background on just so I can see it I'm going to paste the design in place like I did before. I'm going to control command T to select it and bring it to the edge. 
bring it to the right edge that is and delete the background we have that set I'll bring it over just a little bit more like that and then for number four we have the left edge here but it doesn't fully go over to the right edge so we're going to number four turn the background on paste it and then I'm going to drag it to the right edge not all the way we're bringing it just a little bit got to turn off the background save it and there you go and when you do it like this it almost aligns to across this little gap in the field or gap in on the board and then you have your advertising board set and for the last part of the template we have our scoreboard up in the corner or it I'm going to go into it I'm going to bring both the logos in I just want to delete this logo first I'll bring both the logos in bring this one up this one below it but to make sure they're both centered with each other they're both visible within the scoreboard and then drag them to the side this then we have the actual score here we have our home and our visitors, so we can just change this to whatever we want. Um, let's change this to white. Change this to 10 minutes, 24 seconds. Score is probably not something like this. So let's go 23 to like 14 in the third quarter. Let's put it in a various situation, fourth down. 15 and go can they bounce back we'll see but when he closes out you save it and your scoreboard is set like that and the final feature i want to show off here is relating to the field again like we do in most of our templates we have our dynamic lighting layer if you turn on we'll see by default we'll just brighten the field but of course you can click into it go to your channel mixer and change the colors kind of give the field a different look if you want to brighten the field even more you can or if you want to darken it some you can do that as well so what i'm going to do we're just going to go back a little bit i'm going to leave it on i like the brighter look on the field just like that but that'll be it for this tutorial as you take our final look at our outdoor stadium template I want to remind you that you can get this template and the other three views in the link in the description, as well as the library for you to follow along. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and tuning in.